Alright, what's up everyone? This is part 3 on the Dialogue Manager system. Today we're going to figure out how we're going to get a certain number of buttons to show up. And maybe we'll change the text too. So, actually we'll just change how many buttons show up for now. And part uh, 4 will be changing the button names. Alright, so this is what you should have so far. If you don't have this, then go back and look at the other stuff. And then it should pop up at the end. Cool. Um, so let's look into our scripts here. And you should have one called dialog options. Let's open that up. And it should have nothing in it, just derived from dialog base. So we're going to create a class called options. And this will make sense later in the other videos. And we're going to make system.serializable so that we can see it. If you don't include that, then you won't be able to see it in the inspector. And we'll create a public options, and we'll just call it options. We'll call it, actually, we'll call it options info. Um, and we'll include a string here. We'll call it option text, or uh, we'll call it button name. And with that, let's go look back at our example dialog option. And this is the regular stuff. And now we have. Now we can name our buttons, but we haven't hooked it up yet. But you see where we're going with that. So now that we have that set up, we can go back into our dialog manager and try to make a certain number of buttons appear. But in order to do that first, we have to set a reference to the buttons. Um, you don't have to put that. Uh, anyways, um, we'll call public game option or game object. We'll call this one option buttons and we'll make it an array. So now we gotta go back to our manager and we see option buttons here and we're going to click and um, put all these options here. So this is dependent on how many oops, on how many um, buttons you have in your game. Let's rearrange this real quick. Alright. So maybe you have like 10 options, you can put in 10 buttons, but because we only have 4 for this example, we're just going to have 4. And so now that we have all that set up, we can try to set the appropriate amount of options. Alright, so we're quickly going to move some stuff around. We're going to create a public, actually private void and call it option uh, info. Actually, we'll call it options logic. And we're going to move this over here. And we're going to place this. I'm going to call that method here. Okay, so we need to know how many buttons to pop up. And we're going to create a private int, call it options amount. And we're going to create a dialog options we'll call it um well i guess we'll just call it dialog options i'll make it uh, equal to db as a dialog options just like that and then now we can say options amount is equal to dialog options dot Dial options info, not dialog info. 
dot length and then we'll say we'll say for int uh, we'll do a for loop and instead of length we'll say options amount if you didn't know how to do that um, just type 4 and just hit tab two, two times and it's going to bring that up okay so for i equals 0 i is less than options amount i plus plus we're going to say we're going to get the reference to our buttons options buttons here and we're going to turn them all on based on how many there are so option buttons i dot set active true cool so in order to test this out we're going to first we need to turn off all our buttons it looks like it's off but it's not really off so make sure you take all your buttons and check them off like that we're going to turn that off and the amount of buttons that's going to show up is equal to this size right here so it's two and we should see only two pop up Let me make sure I have all my references real quick yep yeah, looks like everything's set so I should only see two buttons pop up and like that we'll see two buttons That'll be it for this video. We're going to continue and next video we're going to have it so that the button names will change and also the question text will change. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.